Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and you have landed on XO Alicia Marie where we talk about everything. <laughs> we really do, we talk about everything. So um, anyways, today's gonna be a really short video. I finally got more tattoo work done to this sleeve that has taken me years to finish. I started getting my tattoo work in 2015. The, I have other tattoos, but this three quarter sleeve bit uh, started in 2015. Of course, you know, you gotta let your skin heal before you go to the next session. You gotta get money, blah, blah, blah. So I unfortunately have had to take a very long time to finish this. And also because I just wanted to really carefully think about what was going on my arm. Now, I did start off with a particular theme and uh, I've maybe got one tattoo that doesn't really go with the theme, but I made it work because of the style in which he did the tattoo in. I'll explain that in a minute. <laughs> so I basically started getting tattooed in 2015, visible tattoos. I think I had total of like three sessions. So this was about two, this was a third, and then the uh, Love Potion Number no. Nine Vintage Perfume Bottle was another one all until I got pregnant. <laughs> so I, of course, I was like, please, can you tattoo me? Like, I'm fine with it. And he's like, no, because you're not supposed to get tattooed, I guess just because to minimize risk of transmitting hepatitis C and, and Lord knows what, that, what, other, what other stuff. Um, and also just carrying a child. So that's even more risk if you were to contract something. So, he wouldn't do it. And then, you know, I was a single mom since three weeks after giving birth. And um, I just enjoyed picking up my child all these years. And I kind of knew once I was going to get anything more on the arm, it was going to be more difficult. I really wanted to pick him up all the time. Like I had him all the time, right? I mean, you're a mom, so you're just carrying them all over. And I just didn't want to mess up any work had I gotten tattooed. And then as he started actually getting older where he obviously could walk, he's now five and a half years old, so we're good. He just, he's touching, 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 touching everything. So my brain was like, oh, he's gonna touch my tattoo or maybe accidentally touch my arm, grab my arm on a fresh tattoo or something and just cause me some pain. So I've been, you know, particularly lazy about it for those reasons. And uh, at some point I was trying to find another tattoo artist to just finish the work. And then I was like, just go to the same guy. Like, you know, his hand is typically the same. He's got the same, he knows the style cause he can look at his own work and obviously probably better connect with finishing. So this time I decided, so this whole arm was supposed to be black, basically black ink only with pretty much shading work. And it's when I finally got the Sacred Heart, I realized the Sacred Heart is like the most beautiful with color. You can't not have color in the beautiful Sacred Heart. You know, it's got so much color in it. Rich colors, reds, oranges, yellow, maybe some pink, you know, just kind of depends on what you're looking at. So I decided to finally go color. Now I'm gonna show you my arm as of today, and I will be honest, it's really bothered me how it looks a little choppy, but I know hands down, once we're done placing the images strategically where they need to go with each session, the same way that I started, was is with the filigree and anything that he's, you know, the filigree that he's gonna add in between, I just know it'll all come together. So, as you may or may not know, tattoo artists can do amazing cover-up work. And I'm like, if he can do that kind of amazing cover-up work, he's going to eventually make all of this look like it was one seamless tattoo. But let's face it, 
I don't know. I mean, if there's anybody out there that has literally gotten an entire sleeve in one sitting, please leave me a comment because I, I think strategically most people go in and get the lining and then they go in and get maybe a couple images. And you know, I've seen some people where the fill in, the fill in is just color or it's just black. And I didn't want that as my fill in. I want filigree, which is, you know, pretty much like artistic elements, blah, blah, blah. Um, some people might use like, you know, ocean waves to fill in stuff or whatever. And I just didn't want to rush my arm, uh, work. I didn't want to rush. Well, first of all, it's also expensive as shit. Like if somebody has the entire money for an arm sleeve in 2022, it's going to set you back a pretty penny. And obviously most of that is probably inflation, but I needed to make it affordable so that I could eventually finish this and not just get one measly tattoo on my arm. So I'm going to show you what I got done yesterday and, uh, it's still wrapped up, but anyways, let me just show you. All right. Actually, let me do this. Let me, let me show you what I have so far. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to set the camera down here just a little bit. Sorry. Oop, not there. And you might hear the lawnmower guy. All right. Sorry. We're going to have to go to a <laughs> chest level here. So this is obviously not finished. And this is because y'all, I can only go four hours with numbing cream, four hours with numbing cream. That's all I can handle. So again, if anyone is anyone who gets shading work done as well, y'all, it's like they're, they're shading. They're, they're literally tattooing you over and over to get the shading or they're, they're grazing. So yeah, it's freaking painful. So here's the main first image. And again, I want all of this to be completely filled in when I, when it's all done. And then I got, let's see, I got this one, this one he did in one sitting, but oh God, this was, I usually am cursing about the last hour. <laughs> This one wasn't so bad because it's on a, it's on a nice meaty area and here I'll try to get up close so you can see it is basically, I love these old, those old vintage perfume bottles. And then of course I wanted it to say love potion number nine. Um, again, if you see any weird things that stick out, it's, I could just tell you this. There's a lot of this that isn't done, especially I wanted the perfume bottle to have the spray spraying at my sugar skull. So let me just step down really quick. The whole theme was supposed to be the Spanish Dia de los Muertos theme. No, I'm not Spanish. I'm part Italian. That's why I'm Alicia Marie. But I love, I love Spanish men. Number one, my, my kid is literally half Spaniard. His last name is one of the major cities in Spain. Anyways, I just love the whole theme and it, it's more about love and finding, you know, your true love. So that's why I have the female uh, sugar skull, so to speak. And then I have the male and then I have, you know, roses and the love potion number nine bottle that's going to spray love onto him. So the spray's got to get done eventually. I added yesterday, it's still wrapped up, so please bear with me. It's really hard to twist my arm. The Sacred Heart in color. And because I'm part Italian, amore. So I at least added a little bit of my own Italian twist to the mix. And it's still not done. <laughs> quite painful, even with, well, with numbing cream, it's great. Like it's, it's just like, it's super strong. So it's like, you're barely feeling anything, but about that right around three hours when it starts to fade off that last hour, I'm just like making signs and noises. And he's like, Oh, come on. You know? <laughs> and I'm like, you know me by now, <laughs> like it's that last hour. What he's doing is he's trying to push further. Sometimes it's an hour and a half more 
than what I can really take. But he's trying to push for completion most of the time, a completion for him. He doesn't want to just stop in the middle of the tattoo, right? Because if, you know, people come in and they're just getting half a tattoo, at some point, people might blame the artist or whatever. But I mean, I'm, I'm watching him tattoo the whole time. And here's the thing, y'all, he's expensive, but this is permanent. So if you're out there thinking about getting an arm sleeve, really think about what you want everything to look like, whether there's a theme or it's just a collage of your favorite images. But, and I mean, I kind of don't want to judge when I say this, but when I see, okay, I'm 44, right? I'm 44. I've had plenty of time in my life to think about if I want, if I want to get tattoos. And you know, the older I get, and I'm, I'm sure of myself, I know myself, I work for myself now. If I'm getting tattoos still, that means I really want them and I really have the money for them. It's not just like I'm young, I'm stupid and like, oh, I'm just gonna go get an arm sleeve at 19 years old. Cause here's the thing y'all, if you get all that tattoo work when you're young, you're, you're gonna change, your tastes will change you know, you're gonna look back and be like, I wish I didn't get that. So if you're already getting all tatted up at 19, you know, you're not giving yourself uh, room to grow and be the person that you want to. I know a lot of people that like got one or two little tattoos when they were young and 20 years go by and they don't care for any more tattoos. They don't want any more tattoos. Maybe they regret getting a tattoo. And then there's some people that I know that, I mean, I know one guy, particularly one guy didn't have any tattoos when I met him and he had just moved to Austin and he was very like, very professional, like very professional from the way he dressed and acted. Two years later, he's all tatted up. I am just like, yeah, Austin really got to you, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Take your time when you're getting tattoo work. Unless your tattoo artist really did you wrong, um, try to stick with the same guy. You know, when you go back to your tattoo artist, especially when they've gone up in price, especially since the pandemic, he's gonna cut you a deal. He's gonna be like, well, you're a repeat customer. That's what mine did. You know, his new rate is like 250 an hour and he cut me a deal. So, um, because he knows that I've already spent a lot of money on this arm and I'm gonna be spending more. So. Just keep a good relationship with your tattoo artist. Just, you know, take your time because like me, had I gotten all that work done black and white, see, I'm now actually deciding because there's particular tattoos that I do want in color and I don't want my arm to look all crazy with just one color tattoo. Eventually what I now want him to do is go back in and put little pops of color where he can, you know, like maybe in the flowers here and maybe in the eyes here, or, you know, in some of the, uh, the de little design elements just to lightly put pops of color. And then at some point I'm going to maybe make this, you know, the rose red or pink, you know, here and, uh, you know, whatever else we're going to do. But I also want to show you how much room I have. This is crazy. Again, this is why take your time when you're getting tattoo work because your arm has a lot of skin, okay? So again, I'm gonna put this down, sorry for the boob shot. So I'm just gonna kinda turn my arm around. Look at, okay, let's just say I stopped at a three quarter. Look at all that room I still have back there, okay? So, and then of course I want him to go I want him to just creep into the shoulder with the filigree and whatever. And then, you know, the rest is pretty much just going to get filled in with filigree or whatever he's going to do. But, and this, I don't, I, stupid me got this upside down. I really want him to cover this up. So this might be another tattoo at some point, or just might be filigree. But on the back end, like if I'm turned back around, sorry, I'm wearing like granny panties. If I turn back around, you're not really seeing any work back there. So I have a lot of room. I'll tell you what I want to do. So now that I have a son and now he can write his name, I want to get his name basically right in this, right in this smidgen. I want his first and middle name. So I named him, 
sorry, here I am again. I named my son Hendrix Lennon after Jimi Hendrix and John Lennon. I know. Um, it's kind of mom I am. So I want his name on here. And this is the perfect little spot. It would have to be curved, you know, like Hendrix Lennon or somehow that it could be red if you're looking at my arm. But then right around here, there's a La Luna image that I want to get. And again, it looks so good in color. And I can't just get some of these tattoos in black ink. Color just looks gorgeous. So I've got more work to get done basically. And so this is going to look like what I want it to. So I'm thinking at least two to three more sessions. For him just to do the Sacred Heart was 700. So yeah, we've got pretty high property taxes here in Texas. And uh, as you know, Austin, we've had a lot of legendary restaurants and establishments close left and right for the past at least a good five, seven years, probably longer than that, because of all the people that have been moving here, driving up the real estate prices, driving up the taxes, driving up the demand. Therefore, you know, current people can't keep up with the, their leases. So yeah, I mean, getting tattoo work here is, is at a premium and he does really good work and he owns his own shop. Like it's his shop. He's not just some little tattoo artist renting out of a shop and he doesn't have it open to the public. So it's not like people walk in and you're getting distracted, nor are you getting tattooed out on a floor with a bunch of other people getting tattooed. So it is what it is. It's also permanent. So you want somebody that's good and you should be willing to pay for someone that is going to be that good. And it should be that expensive because guess what? You do not want to just fly by, walk into a place and get a tattoo unless it's like a dare. <laughs> I get a little butterfly somewhere. But if you're going to get a tattoo, you need to put serious thought into it. You, if you need to save the money, then by God, save the money, okay? To afford a really good artist because you just don't want to Google, you know, tattoo horror stories either. And even though tattoos can be covered up, which is great, if you have a really good artist that has uh, a really good hand, really good um, shading skills, really good, um, I'm trying to put some artistic terms with it, shading skills, coloring skills. That's the reason why this one hurt a lot because he's going over and over the, the color to make sure the color pops. Take your time. That's my PSA for getting tattooed. Thank you for watching.